Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over two different things. The first one being, what are the daily collection sets and their current cycles? And then the second thing being, what are the daily challenges, the list mode, and then we're going to follow that up with extensive detail. But if you guys are looking for Madame Nazar's location, then make sure that you guys check out the video that I released previously to this one. So make sure that you guys go ahead and do that right now. All right, so collect a roll and doing the daily collection sets and their current cycles. That's going to get you guys the most amount of money as possible. And then doing the daily challenges will actually net you the most amount of gold possible. So this is the best way of earning cash and the best way of earning gold right here in one video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, if you guys could go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below, it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. A like definitely goes a long way here on the channel. It shows your love and support of these videos. It tells me that you want me to continue making these types of videos. And honestly, it just really helps me grow here on YouTube. You already clicked on the video, so you might as well just take a couple extra seconds and click two additional things. That is subscribe and also the like button down below. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the collection sets and their current cycles first. Anything that involves using the field shovel, um, I know that I've had a few people ask, actually asking about this lately. Uh, it basically has a random dig site. So if you're going after the coins, you're going to get a coin. You just don't know which coin you're going to get. If you're going after the lost jewelry and you use the field shovel to dig that one up, you are going to get a lost jewelry, but you just don't know which one it's going to be. But if it's sitting on, say, a bench or somewhere else and you don't ever have to actually use the field shovel, then it's not going to be random. It will be the same one every time that, that cycle comes up. There you go. I hope that makes sense for everybody. So we're going to talk about the f anything that is affected by using the field shovel. That's going to be things like the fossils, which will be a part of cycle number one. The lost jewelry, which will be a part of cycle number two. The arrowheads, which will be a part of cycle number three. Family heirlooms, cycle number two. Coins at cycle number three. Now, the next four sets that I'm about to go over, you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them. But you do need to be a collector in order to sell them. So if you guys haven't purchased that collector bag, I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and do that. But if you haven't and you want to be able to earn a little bit of money as soon as you become a collector, you could actually do some of these things prior. You just can't sell them prior. And you can only carry 10 of each of these sets anyway. So make sure that you guys aren't overfilling your satchel because honestly at that point it's a waste of your time and energy and you're wasting good quality uh, collection spots. So American Wildflowers, you can actually collect three sets every single day. Those are going to be a part of cycle number three. The tarot cards will be a part of cycle number two. The antique alcohol, antique alcohol bottles will be a part of cycle number three. And then the bird eggs will be a part of cycle number one. All right, so let's go ahead and go over the daily challenges. Right now, we're going to go over the list mode first, and we're going to follow that up with extensive detail. We got five bay boulette picked, one bird shooting contest completed, five bluegill caught, two iguana skinned. We got five non-player enemies trampled, five vanilla flowers picked, and then one visited Van Horn. The bounty hunter roll, we got two bounties brought in from West Elizabeth posters, three bounty targets brought in, and then three eagle eye used to track a bounty target. The trader roll, we got one Crypt Special Camp Stew completed, two goods sold to a distant buyer, and then ten small animal carcasses donated to Crips. The collector roll, we got three coins found, three or two collectibles found with a metal detector, and then three lost jewelry found. Then a moonshine roll, we got one completed special moonshine recipe, $200 money made from moonshine sold, and then one moonshine bar change decor. And then the naturalist roll, we got two blending tonics crafted or used, two, three forest or river animal samples taken, and then three mountain grassland animal samples taken. Now you have the possibility of actually earning up to 11 gold bars every single day, five from completing the daily general challenges, and six gold bars from completing the daily roll challenges every single day. The only requirement that you can actually need to get in order to get 0.5 for the, each of the gold bars or for each of the daily challenges is to make sure that you've completed at least one daily challenge for 21 days in a row. Now, this is real 21 days in a row, not game days, but real life days. By only completing this one daily challenge, it doesn't matter if it's a daily general or a daily roll challenge. Next requirement, if you guys want to participate in as many daily roll challenges as possible, to make sure that you have as many as purchased as possible, preferably all five, and they'd be at least a rank 10 
in each of those rolls so that you guys can earn as much gold as possible. Like I said, you can earn 11 gold bars from completing just the daily challenges each and every single day. Doing showdown would take a hell of a long time in order to earn that much gold. Now, realistically, I'd say I would most people probably get anywhere done from six to eight daily challenges done every single day. Maybe even nine because of the daily rule challenges. And in my opinion, the daily rule challenges are a little bit easier. But that's still really good gold. If you think about it, even if you did nine of them every single day, that's four and a half gold bars. Well, actually, that'd be six gold bars every single day if you did all daily rolls. But if you did just all of them as a combination, then you're looking at four and a half gold bars, which is not that bad. It's to take a long time to do anything else in Red Dead Online to make that kind of gold. All right, so let's go ahead and break these down in detail. We're going to start with the Bay Boulette pick. Now, I'm going to take you guys over by Valentine in order to do this one. The other spot that you guys can actually do this is actually down in the Tall Trees area. I'm not going to go over the specific locations over there. But I'm going to show you guys where you guys can find them here. We're going to start right here, right here by the end. We're also going to come down just a little bit, roughly about in this location. Now, these aren't going to be exact, but they're going to be pretty close for you guys. We got behind this little shack right here, getting a little bit closer to Downs Ranch. We got one there, another location right about there. You have another location right about here. And roughly right about there should be another one. So there's what, seven different locations. And each Bay Boulette usually has two to four in each of those locations. So there you go. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And that is going to be the bird shooting contest. Now the bird shooting contest, you do need to be in participating inside of a posse in order to get this one completed. Um, it doesn't matter if you're the posse leader or if somebody else is. Uh, you just need to participate with somebody else in order to get this one completed. But then you'll start the bird shooting contest. It doesn't matter who wins as long as you actively participate in it by shooting at least a few of the birds. And then we got uh, five bluegill caught. Bluegill can be caught pretty much anywhere. Any body of water, rivers, or lakes. It doesn't matter. However, they do prefer a cheese bait. Otherwise, you could always try using the special spinner. Don't use like the, the any of the bigger lures like the river lure, the special river lures, or lake lures. They're not going to work. It's only the special spinner or any of the the food bait will be the best. But cheese is their preferred type. Two we go on is skinned. You can either do this down by the tumbleweed area or you can actually do these, this off the islands to the west of Rhodes. There's actually green iguanas on those islands. And there's also crabs that you can actually find out there as well. But if you want like desert iguanas, then you're going to have to go down towards the tumbleweed area. And you can pretty much find them anywhere between Armadillo and uh, all the way out to the west. And then we got a five non-player enemies trampled. Now, the best way to do this is actually shooting them, obviously getting them upset with you, and then going and basically hog tying them and then trampling them with your horse. That's the easiest way to do this. The other way that you could do that, do this is I saw that you had to visit Van Horn today. So you could either go there and just start running through the town and running people over. Because as soon as you hit one of those people, uh, all the whole town is going to come after you. The other place that you can actually do this at would be down in Thieves Landing. But uh, I would say that probably the first way that I recommend is recommended is probably the easiest way to actually go ahead and do that. But if you want to do this in Van Horn, you can actually get two daily challenges done right in that exact same spot. So it's actually pretty close to tall trees if you want to be able to get your Bay Boulette from over there. Now the next one on the list is actually Vanilla Flowers. And unfortunately, Vanilla Flowers are all individual based. So I'm going to have to actually delete these waypoints here real quick because I'm going to need as many of the markers that I possibly can get because I think I only have 10 anyway. So let's go ahead and erase all of these. And then we're going to go down by the Sand Denis area. Specifically, we're going to be hanging out in the bayou right in this general area. Now, these are going to be pretty close. Now, these might not be 100% exact, but we're going to start right here pretty close to this cabin, which is a moonshine shack. Right above the B is going to be one. You have another one that's going to be right about here. And another one just a little bit to the west, northwest of the, that moonshine shack. You can also find another one that's going to be up in this area. Another one right about in here. Uh, there's a gang hideout over here too, so you could actually get the non-player enemy trampled over in this location if you wanted to, if it shows up as well. You got another one there. You got another one right about there. Another one right about here. About here and roughly about there. Um, let's see, where else 
do I remember where they could be at? I think there's one like right about here, which I can't I can't mark anymore. They're pretty much all full. There's one right about here, pretty much right where my cursor is at. There's one also right about here. And then also one right about in here, pretty much close to the B. So you guys could actually do that in like a big loop if you wanted to just go in biggest circle. And you'll be able to get that all completed. Now if you only want to go to a couple trees and then reload and log into a brand new session, they will appear on that same tree after you get that those picked. Now moving on to the bounty hunter role. We got two bounties brought in from West Elizabeth posters. Um, so just... It could be Strawberry, Blackwater, or the Wallace Station locations. We have three bounties brought in, three bounty targets brought in. So two of them will be from West Elizabeth, and then from anywhere else or wherever you have to get them from today. And then we got three eagle eye used to track a bounty target. The best way to do this is either one of two ways: to get to the yellow area where you have to inspect sites, and then each time you inspect something, basically use your eagle eye and you'll track a bounty target that way. Or you can actually like let your target basically kind of go and then start to track them out again and then basically find them and then like lasso them and hog time and let them go and then track them down again and that's you could do it that way or you could do it in three individual bounty hunts it's completely up to you guys we got one Cripses a special camp stew recipe completed for today whatever those ingredients are you can purchase them from the catalog you can find them naturally because like yesterday the one that i had you had to actually find chanterelle mushrooms so you can't purchase them you have to go and find them well you might be able to purchase them from mad bazaar i guess i didn't look um i've never purchased any of the the uh the herbs from her so i don't know if that's part of it or not i haven't really paid attention because i've had no need to and then uh you can purchase them from the, any of the general stores or even the stables we have two goods sold to a distant buyer uh, as long as you have two goods to be able to so be sold, then that's fine. Uh, this will take about 10 to 15 minutes to get that one completed. And then we got 10 small animal carcasses donated to Crips. This is going to be anything like bats, rats, toads, bullfrogs, western chipmunks, any of the squirrels, crows, and any other really small bird. There you go. The collector roll, we got three coins found. Again, coins will be a part of cycle number three. Uh... Two collectibles found with the metal detector. These kind of go together. So if you're going after the coins, use the, you're going to be using the metal detector anyway. So you're going to get that one completed. And then we got three lost jewelry found. And again, lost jewelry will be a part of cycle number two. The moonshiner roll, we just got to complete a special moonshine recipe. Creek plum, argarita, or Caribbean rum. You just have to start it, and then you'll get it. Otherwise, if you already have a batch finished, you might get the uh, where it actually pops up afterwards. So if it's already just if it's already started before the day, then you'll just have to wait till it actually finishes, and then you'll get the credit for it. Two hundred dollars money made from moonshine sold. If you're doing a special moonshine recipe anyway, it's two hundred forty-seven dollars and fifty cents. If you make a strong batch, as long as you don't break any bottles, you will make two hundred forty-seven dollars and fifty cents. If you break one bottle, you'll make less than two hundred dollars, which kind of sucks. We got one moonshine bar change decor. You just have to change either a painting or the entire theme. It doesn't matter if you guys have already purchased the painting, just change it back. If you've already purchased the theme, just change it back to the basic one. That's all you have to do. But if you want to buy one, by all means, go ahead and buy one because once you have it, you always have it. And then last but not least, we got the Naturalist Roll. Two blending tonics crafted or used. Go and buy them from Harriet directly and then use them. And then we got three forest and river animal samples taken. Just go and participate in whatever ones are easiest for you to obtain. And then the same thing with the mountain and grassland animals. Whatever they're the easiest for you guys to get. These two should be relatively easy to go ahead and complete for today. But that is all the daily challenges done and gone over and covered. If you guys do have any questions regarding any of the daily challenges, by all means, leave a comment down below because I'd love to be able to help you guys out if I possibly can. But if you guys did find this video helpful or enjoyable in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.